Hey guys, it's Neeb with Aromatics coming back to you live from the studio. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting on that notification bell. And for those of you that are coming back, welcome back and thank you so much for staying tuned. Today marks day three of the summertime cheapies. With summertime right around the corner, we're all looking to save a couple bucks but still smelling like a million bucks. Today's fragrance is none other than Hane Mori for men. So let's take a look at this bottle here. It's a nice frosted glass with a chrome cap. Nothing too crazy about it. You got your sticker and your ingredient information. The cap honestly just slides on and off. There's a lot of notes, man, so I might have to shift over. So I'm gonna put the notes on the screen right here and let's get into it, guys. So. Hane Mori was launched in 1997. I do think that this one is a little bit more mature. I don't want to call it dated, but there is that slight bit of um, old school vibe to it. But honestly, that's something that I actually appreciate in this fragrance. So this one used to be a nice cheapie. I got it around $23. However, there was a lot of hype around this one for a long time. Sometime last, last summer, I believe, if not the summer before. And you guys just ate it up and picked it up like crazy. So at the time I'm making this video, it was available in Fragrance Net for um, I believe upwards of $40. Um, but go ahead and check it out. If you guys are gonna shop from Fragrance Net, make sure that you check out the links in the description, man. Retail Me Not will save you some money and Honey will save you some money, honey. So make sure you use that Honey, okay? And if not the Honey, then Retail Me Not will definitely have it. Um, so the top notes with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the opening here. I've, I've got the dry down already to kind of give you guys my impression on the dry down for this one, but let's do the opening together and I will let you know what I think, okay? So here we go. Sprayer is kind of very, uh, it just sprays like a dart, man. <laughs> Don't expect like, a, you might wanna like spray it from all the way back here if you wanna kind of just get everywhere. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so at the top with this one, all I get is Amalfi lemon and black currant. I don't really get much anything else um, as this begins to transition into the mid, which it does very quickly. I, I do have a fan here running, so that's kind of helping the transition. I start to pick up notes of a little bit of rose. I don't pick up any of the, the iris, maybe a little bit of lily of the valley, but mostly rose. So now I get just a um, black currant, lemon, and rose. So I'm gonna go ahead and smell the dry down. And it did transition a bit more from the opening where it opened as a sour uh, lemonade with the black currant and the rose. I now get a little bit of sweetness in the dry down. It's not sweet by any means. This fragrance is not a sweet fragrance, but I'm just talking about there's a balance now. So just a little bit of sweetness, just to kind of give it a, 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 a more of a softness. However, this fragrance does lean a little bit more on the sour side. This fragrance looks like and smells like what it looks like. It looks like a frosted lemonade, okay? So in the dry down, I very, very vaguely get the chocolate note, if any, but the vanilla I do get a little bit of, and I get mostly oak moss and cedar, okay? You're gonna get that lemon. You're gonna get that um, almost a sour black currant. You're gonna get the rose. You're definitely gonna get the rose. And then you might start picking up some of that vanilla, uh, oak moss, and cedar, 100%. So this one is a little bit more mature. I would keep it, honestly, maybe 27 and up. I would not recommend this for any less than 25 years old. This is not going to be your cup of tea. Unless you are a little bit more on the mature side and you want to venture out and kind of get your nose on something different, maybe even appreciate some of the classics. This isn't one that I wear very often. This is a, probably two years old. I do think I got it two years ago, but I do enjoy wearing this when I do pull it out, okay? As far as projection and longevity, this one is very solid. I wouldn't spray this one more than four to five times with four times being about the sweet spot. Projection on this one is solid and so is the longevity. I get a solid two to two and a half projection hours. And as far as the longevity, I think it's safe to say that it lasts for a good eight to 12 hours. Honestly, sometimes I can still smell this on my shirt the next day. So guys, Please do not over apply this one. You will find that four sprays is more than enough. Day three of the cheapy summertime fragrances. Hani Mori. For those of you that came back, thank you so much for staying tuned, guys. 
day four coming very very soon and for those of you who were new to this channel if you found any value to this channel please consider subscribing hitting that notification bell i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video half as much as i did making it and as always love you